This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. And now we jump right into the exclusive stuff I have for you. In this video, I tell the official patch notes for Season 19, but it is not the 100% patch notes, these will be released only on October 30th, these patch notes are from the official early access livestream of Respawn. In this video we don't talk about the new legend conduit because I made a special video for you where I show you everything there is to know about in the gameplay, the video goes live in 2 hours. Let's first talk about cross progression, yes you heard right, cross progression comes after so many years and can be used or activated right at the release of season 19. A huge storm point update is coming with 6 big new spots, a new skybox that looks incredible. More loot has been distributed on the map and the map as a whole has been reworked by 40% and looks unbelievably beautiful. Today there will also be an extra video where I show you plenty of gameplay on the map where I also play in a round together with the gaming merchant or simply Ashton in a bug ground in which we have a 10 legend squad which was very funny. Now we come to some ranked changes. No more dive trails except for prestige skins they will be replaced by banner frames. A complete new feature are the promo trials that start when you are about to reach a higher rank for example from gold 1 to platinum 4 or bronze 1 to silver 4. In these challenges you have 5 rounds to prove yourself and advance to the higher rank. Attention, it will not be possible to simply be carried through the round by better players in these rounds you have to work your ass off yourself. This is what the challenges can look like. Make 1 win in these 5 rounds or make 3 assists or 3 kills and 3 top 10 placements in 3 of 5 rounds. Not doing so will be punished and you have to work for your higher rank. If you have not achieved anything after 5 rounds you get another 5 more rounds, but what happens after that should you fail again is not quite clear. Before I talk about cross progression again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as an EA Creator Network member I always receive exclusive information before the start of a new season. Cross progression will merge two accounts where you merge everything such as skins into one master account. Map rotation for ranked and public matches, Stormpoint, Olympus and Broken Moon. Weapon Changes The L-Star comes from the Care Package and the Wingman goes into the Care Package and there will also be an extra video for the Wingman. The R301 and the Volt SMG goes into the Replicator. In order to strengthen the mid-range and long-range meta, the projectiles of the Longbow the Sentinel and the Charge Rifle are slightly larger. The bullet drop for the Charge Rifle is reduced. Higher Shooting Speed with the Bow with the 3030 repeater, the dispersion from the hip is increased. The hemlock gets a small damage nerf. The L Star is a little stronger than it was before it went into the care package. Gold weapon rotation is the R45, Longbow, L Star, the Car SMG, and the Havoc. The boosted loader goes out of the loot pool and can only be found on the wingman. Legend Meta Catalyst gets a major nerf. The core of the spikes no longer offers any cover and bullets fly through them and hit you if you seek protection behind them. From now on you only have two instead of three charges of spikes. Your ultimate the wall doesn't last as long and your cooldown only starts when the wall disappears. Pathfinder can now scan a care package even if a skirmisher legend on its own team has already scanned it. Wraith passive now provides more informations. Vantage gets a strong buff on her ultimate and now gets one more bullet in the magazine and therefore has six instead of five bullets in the magazine. Those were the patch notes for now and the 100% patch notes will come on October 30th. Have a nice day, see you in the next video.